designed to be for this body are their pectoral flippers. These are mainly used for steering and stopping. There are five finger-led bone structures within each of them that look just like the human hand. The lobes on either side of their tail are their tail flukes. This is a kettlebell's engine. It can propel them with speeds at 30 miles per hour. That is as fast as some of our speedboats. They swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and out of the water. Wow. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as a form of their communication. They use pectoral slaps on the surface of the water to show dominance and to get noticed. For example, a mother might use a peck slap to get the attention of her calf.
to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator.
touch. And can you see them having their bellies on box in my hand? Our whales demonstrate this behavior right here at SeaWorld, just like the whales in British Columbia would. one another. We see it here at SeaWorld all the time. They're constantly mimicking and learning.